What's up everyone, this is Cybernet861 Drew, and today we have an awesome opening for you guys. I know a lot of you have been asking about it. And we have three Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. So can't wait to open those. Of course, these are from StrikeZoneOnline.com. So yeah, let's get to opening these. Hopefully they're not going to be too much of a pain to open. I've heard some people say they're a little bit more of a pain. So I was debating on, you know, like cutting away and, and uh, going ahead and opening them. Now we can open the packs together, but I figure we can just go ahead and do it like this. As you can see, with the Silivory Calicos. Go ahead and get it out of this thing. I like how those boxes are, those kind of nice. There's the actual Silivory Calicos now, it's finally in card form, so this is pretty awesome. Alright, and of course our packs, you get five of the Mega Packs, so... Three of them. There's our promo pack, which we'll open here in a sec, and there's the others. So yeah, our promo pack. The promo pack actually has kind of some weird choices on some things. All right. Uh, as you can see, like the Dark Necro figure, it seems like an odd choice. A uh, Yalta is pretty cool, and then Five Headed Dragon, another kind of odd choice. But I really like these tokens, Kribo tokens, and then the uh, the Gorge token. Pretty cool. So I'm going to move these over to the side, oh yeah, and in the bottom, at the bottom under that, we have our, like, it's a playmat, but it's more like it's made out of like a cardboard, sort of like a, like a game board for like a board game. As you can see, it's double-sided as well, so it's pretty cool. I, I wonder if I'm going to like that kind of playmat or not, I'll probably try to use it in a few videos. It, it seems like a cool idea, though. I'm glad they're doing some different stuff, so that's what's cool. Let's open these and see what we get. A lot of reprint cards, a lot of really cool ones too. Of course we got a, let's see, a Red Gadget, Pyramid Turtle, Machine Duplication, oh that's pretty cool, super rare. These other ones, I'm just going to muff the hollows, I think. Red Gadget's pretty cool, I think one of my friends is needing that one, so let's go ahead and put like our Ultras, our Supers, and our Secrets. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the rares too. Probably gonna be one of the longer pack openings because there's so much stuff to open. So yeah, here we have Great Keeper's Assailant. That's pretty cool. Uh, Feather of the Phoenix and a Dragon Master Knight. No, oh, that's pretty cool. An Ultra or Super? Sorry. Few few of the cards in this set though are kind of odd choices. From I've noticed from a few of their opening videos. So some like really old cards like. Silver Fang and stuff, even though they look really cool with Hollow, it seems weird. Sage of Stone, Beckoning Light, Prohibition, and Trihorn Dragon. Trihorn Dragon, that's a pretty cool card. Even though it's hard to beat the Secret Rare version of it. Beckoning Light's pretty cool, I guess that'd be good for Light Swords. Oh yeah! Chain Disappearance too is a common. Probably point that out, that's a good common reprint. That card, it was pretty expensive. I think it was... Uh, even though I think it was like a common or something, it was a really expensive card. Relinquished, uh, Swords of Concealing Light, Imperial Order, and another Machine Duplication. Alright, our last pack from this box. What are we going to get? Alright, uh, Toon Defense, Upstart Goblin, oh that's pretty cool looking one. <laughs> Mystic Tomato, I was wanting that one, that looks pretty awesome. And uh, uh, the Agent of Creation, Venus. I know a lot of people are looking for the Agent one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know if there's any truly valuable cards in this set. I mean, I know the Black Luster Soldier. Yeah. I think I mixed around some of our rarities, oh well. We're going to show all the hollows at the end of the video anyway. Alright, so let's open up our second box. I know the highest one, though, is the Black Luster Soldier. Uh, I think it's taken down its price a little bit. That's got to be like Black Luster Soldier's uh, fourth reprint? Something like that. Alright, 
promo pack. Of course, uh, I'm probably not going to open up this promo pack because we've already seen them, so just to save on time. Alright, let's go ahead and start opening it. Tomb Dark Magician Girl, Royal Decree, Graceful Charity, and, uh, cool, Chimera the Mythical Flying Beast. Or Flying Mythical Beast, whatever. Oh, that's pretty cool. It, it didn't need to be a rare back in the day. It looks cool as a super. Also, sorry if I don't sound too great. Allergies are absolutely killing me. You wouldn't think in Texas with our weather that uh, my allergies would be all screwed up, but they are. So, that's it really sucks. Uh, Toon Gemini Elf, Green Gadget, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's our main card that we wanted right there. Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Awesome. People said it was short printed, too. So, yes. <laughs> that's really awesome. Uh, I think I think that is the most expensive card in the set, so, oh, that's pretty cool. I like the Secret Rare version. I have an Ultra Rare, uh, the old Ultra Rare that's first edition, and it's, like, beat up really badly. But somebody gave me the card for free, so I still use it. And Burfament, which also looks really cool as a hollow, but yes, <laughs> Black Luster Soldier? Heck yeah. I was really hoping I'd get that one. So yeah, I am already extremely happy with this box. Also, people that may ask, of course I got mine for Strike Zone, you can get them just about anywhere. Be sure to try out Strike Zone though, because they have really quick shipping. Uh, Toon Goblin Attack Force, Swords of Revealing Light, Dark Paladin, oh cool, that version of Dark Paladin, oh that looks awesome, Dark Paladin Secret Rare, oh that looks cool, and Reckless Greed, that's a good super, I still can't believe I got the Black Lives Soldier, I know a lot of people always want me to like scream and act like a maniac when I get a good card, but that's just not me, you know, I am extremely happy though, as you can tell, I start to shake really badly whenever, <laughs> whenever I get a good card, I can't help it. Multiply, oh cool, Queen's Knight, and Exodia, oh cool, <laughs> Exodia piece. Maybe we'll get the rest of them, I don't know. Trihorn Dragon, so that's pretty cool. I like the different knights, I might be looking for the Ultra ones just because they look cool. Of course, our last pack. Alright, Toon Master. Seems like a lot of Toon cards. Oh, cool, King's Knight. There we go. We're going to have all the different knights. Uh, Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer. Not bad. And uh, Morphing Jar number two. Water Pond, because real men use Water Pond. <laughs> that should have been a hollow. And also, of course, uh, your playmat things at the bottom of that. I could have jumped the gun on the other one and went ahead and <laughs> got that off camera. Alright, our last one. What are we going to get? Are we going to get Jack Knight? I'd really like to get a Jack Knight. Another Black Luster Soldier? Dark Magician Girl, which they should have used the Anniversary Pack artwork. I don't know. We'll see. Also, I do have a complaint with this set. Why don't we have the Dark Magician Arcana, the red Dark Magician, in this set? That would have been so awesome. Promo pack again. I'm kind of sad that we didn't get that, or some other altar arts or something. I really like altar art cards. Uh, Dark Eyes Illusionist. Oh, cool. Breaker as an ultra. Oh, that's neat. Breaker the Magical Warrior. Card Destruction. All oh, that looks really epic. And White Horn Dragon. I think that was in a, the new Dual Terminal, too, so. <laughs> this card's getting a lot of reprints lately. Yeah, though, uh, this set, I think it's like a 300 card set, so there's a lot of cards that I'm still like, I forgot it was hollow. You know, so like Breaker, for example, it looks awesome as an Ultra. Alright. Ectoplasm. Uh, Beckoning Light. <laughs> Dark King of the Abyss. That's kind of one of those cards I was talking about. It's kind of a weird, you know, to turn into a secret, but it looks cool. And a Dragon Master Knight. Yeah, though, it just seems like I'm... <laughs> you know, because I don't know if you could use that card really in anything. I'm trying to think of anything that you could, probably. Definitely nothing competitive. Maybe for something for fun? I don't know. All 
Alright, Chain Disappearance, that's another good common. Uh, Toon Goblin Attack Force, Swords are Revealing a Light, that Dark Paladin again, which looks really epic, by the way. And another Reckless Greed. Nothing wrong with that at all. We're about to have a bunch of deck profiles, too. I know I'm getting a lot of requests on those. I'm working on some stuff. I'm actually working on some deck profiles that use the Seal of Horry Calcos. And I hope you guys are forward to those. We'll have that really soon. A bunch of duels. I need to get to recording. I've recorded a few. I need to do some editing and more recording. Uh, crucifixion? Cru I don't know. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> I'm saying it completely wrong, I know, so I'm not going to even continue. Uh, Red Gadget, uh, Pyramid Turtle, and Machine Duplication. Alright, and our last pack. What are we going to get? Is it going to be another Blackluster Soldier? Let's find out. I really like the artwork on these packs. Alright. Moment of Truth. Oh, cool. Dark Griffer. Uh, Toon Gemini Elf. Greykeeper's Assailant. And a Feather of the Phoenix. And another Dragon Master Knight. Good grief. I think we have a playset of those now. So yeah, that was all three of my Legendary Collections. Three. I was tempted to get a case, but I decided to go ahead, save my money, and we'll get a case of the Wave 2 Tins that will be out in November. Also, of course, you know, anything that comes out Yu-Gi-Oh! will be doing openings on. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all my supers first. Not gonna name over everything. I think everything is gonna be for trade. Everything out of the supers for sure is for trade. Let's see about the ultras. I'm probably gonna keep the King's Knight and Queen's Knight, and I'll look for a Jack's Knight if anyone has one. Just because they look awesome. And our secret rares. I'm probably gonna keep one of the Dark Paladins. And, of course, I kind of just want to sell the Blackluster Soldier, because that'd be awesome. I don't know, I might, I don't know. I'm tempted to kind of keep it, I don't know. I'm going to keep the Mystic Tomato, too. And then our rares, I don't know if anyone really cares on the rares in this set, but I will go ahead and show them. A lot of tunes. Alright, so yeah, of course, you know, there's a lot of different commons in here. Uh... There's so many, I don't, you know, of course we're not going to go over all those. And I have all the promo cards, I will trade all the promo cards, you know, like the Aotos, the Dark Necrofear, and the Five-Headed Dragon, but the tokens and the seals themselves, I'm going to keep for myself. And I have two of the, like, game boards or gameplay mats or whatever, I will trade those two. You know, since i got three of them, I'm going to keep one and I'll trade uh, two of them. So yeah, anyway, hopefully this wasn't too long of an opening. It's really hard to speed these kind of openings up, like I said. And uh, yeah, anything that's coming out in the U.S. or Japan, we're going to be doing openings on. I think there's some stuff next week that's coming out in Japan. I forgot exactly what's going on on that, but we're going to have all kinds of new openings really soon, of course. And of course, Bis Rising, I, I'm really tempted to try to save up my money if I can to even get a case of that. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but for sure, 100%, we will be getting a box or two for uh, Abyss Rising as well. So yeah, anyway though, thanks for watching as always you guys, thanks for supporting me and watching my videos. Like I said, I'm going to be working on, on a lot of different stuff besides just openings. I know some people get sick of the openings. And uh, yeah though, we're going to be opening like anything that comes out in Japan or US we'll be doing openings on. And we're about to have a bunch of duels, deck profiles, uh, just name it. <laughs> we're going to have that type of video over here. So yeah, any, even some new video series. So I hope you guys will enjoy. Thanks for watching as always. And if you happen to randomly find my video, please subscribe and please like this video if you love the opening videos. And I will, you know, continue to do as many opening videos as I can get. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching as always, you guys. Later. Hope you've enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to check out the next and previous buttons that are down below so you can see some of the past and future videos that I've made. And also be sure to check out the two featured videos that are on both sides of me. Thanks again for watching and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later, guys.